an introduction to moments. Spanners by kscience.com. The moment of a force M equals F the force times by D the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot. The moment of a force M equals F the force times by D the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot. The unit for force is newtons, n. The unit for distance, d, is meters, m. And because you're multiplying the number of newtons by the number of meters, the unit for the moment is newton meters. Remember, d, the distance, is the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot. This here is a bolt and a spanner. The bolt is represented as the pivot. And the force acting on the spanner to cause a turning effect, which is the moment, is here. This is the line of action of the force. And remember, the distance is the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot. And this is D, the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot. So if the force is 10 newtons, and the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot is 0.1 meters, we can calculate the moment of the force. So recall, m equals f times d, m equals the force, 10 newtons, times by d, which is 0.1 meters, which gives you the moment in an anti-clockwise direction of one newton meter. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Let's now increase the force acting on the spanner to 40 newtons. So the line of action is here, which remains the same. And the distance, which is perpendicular from the line of action of the force to the pivot, remains at 0.1 meters. To calculate the moment, the turning effect of the force in an anti-clockwise direction, we recall m equals f times d. Substitute the numbers, m equals 40 newtons times 0.1 meters which gives you an anti-clockwise moment of four newton meters. Now I've got a spanner and a bolt, and the distance, which is perpendicular from the line of action of the force to the pivot, is 0.2 meters, and the moment in an anti-clockwise direction is one newton meter. So we've got the moment, m, and we've got the distance, d. So we can use this information to calculate the force, f. So recall, m equals f times d, rearrange for f, so f equals m divided by d, so f equals 1 newton meter divided by 0 0.2 meters, so the force equals 5 newtons, 5 newtons. This here is a spanner and a bolt, this here is the line of action of the force, so remember d is the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot. So what happens if the force is not 90 degrees perpendicular to the spanner handle? So this is now a force that is at an angle that is not perpendicular to the spanner. So we now draw the line of action of the force and we then measure the distance d, which is now 90 degrees at a right angle to the line of action of the force. So this here is d, the distance. As you can see here, the force is not acting 90 degrees to the spanner handle. It is acting at a different angle to the spanner handle. Calculate the moment of this force. You recall m equals f times d. The moment equals the force, which is 20 newtons. But remember the distance is the distance perpendicular from the line of action of the force to the pivot and that's 0 0.1 meters. So you do 0 0.1 meters times 20 newtons, which gives you a moment of two newton meters. So to calculate the anti-clockwise moment, you recall M equals F times D. M equals 20 newtons times D. 
but it's not the distance of the spanner handle, so it is the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot, which is 7.5 centimeters. But you need to convert 7.5 centimeters to 0.07 meters. So it's m equals 20 newtons times 0.075 meters. The anti clockwise moment is 1.5 newton meters. And the anti clockwise moment for the final spanner is 3 newton meters. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.